Hi guys, it's Lisa. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I get organized for the new year. And I'm starting with my bureau drawers and I organized two of my drawers which were chock-a-block full. I couldn't fit another piece in there. And I went from this to this. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and when you're going to be undertaking a project like this it's important to set the space it's important to set the mood don't you don't want it to feel like total drudgery and you don't want to get halfway through and just give up and say forget it I can't even do this so when you set the mood and you set your space it's a lot more conducive to feeling like you're doing something that's actually enjoyable. So I'm going to show you how I set my space, how I created a ambiance to get myself in the mood to do this. I'm going to show you where I got my inspiration and how I learned how to make my drawers look amazing. I can see everything I have in there. I color coordinated it and I now have some added space. So um, to reward myself for taking the time to actually get organized, I purchased two new shirts because I have now added extra room in my drawers and I will show you those shirts and I will try them on for you so that you can see if you actually like them and want to purchase them. I have them in still in the packages so I'm excited to see what these look like but before we do that let's get into the video. So I'm setting the space with my essential oil diffuser with a recipe I found on Pinterest and it has lavender, lemon, bergamot, and sage, and it's called Cold Saturday Morning. And I get my essential oils from a company called Woolsey's, and I also pick them up at TJ Maxx. They have essential oils there as well. And this is a Casa Luna essential oil diffuser from Target. And it has a remote to turn on the diffuser. And it has music. Uh, this is the meditation setting. There's a few different settings and a few different light settings. So I have my green tea. And this is my kombucha tea. And it always has a little message on it. A good message so I'm ready to start my project so this is uh, one drawer and this is the other drawer that I'm gonna be working on one has short sleeve shirts and the other has long sleeve shirts so I'm just gonna start taking them out kind of feeling them a little bit and looking at them to see which ones I'm gonna keep and which ones I'm gonna give away I really don't spend a lot of time on them just looking if something has a stain or something this is one of my favorite shirts my cheeseburger in paradise Jimmy Buffett shirt I got on a trip one year and this is my fall t-shirt that I got when I went to Ohio with the two orchids and the girls and so yeah I'm just making sure that I really want to keep the shirts and this is a shirt. Sometimes you have to keep something with sentimental value. This was from my daughter-in-law's bachelorette party. So yeah, I'll be keeping that even though I probably won't be wearing it. So I have my clean slate and I'm ready to go. I'm going to be using Marie Kondo's basic folding method. And I found a video of hers which gives you step-by-step -step instructions as to how to fold and get your clothes neatly into your drawers. And I'm gonna definitely be doing that with mine. So I'm gonna get started. And first I'm gonna take all of this pile, which is my giveaway pile, and get that out of the way. And I have my first t-shirt that I'm going to try the folding method and I am going to check the video just to give myself the little instructions again. It's actually kind of meditative. 
um, to do this so it really um, goes quickly once you get started so now I'm on my long sleeve shirt and that's done a little bit different because you have the sleeve to deal with so I'm just checking that checking that video again just to make sure that I am doing it correctly and we're going to actually give that a second try in a second yep we're gonna redo that and get it just right so that it really folds up nice and once you get the hang of it this goes really really quickly I was able to get everything folded up in a very short period of time. So here we go, we're finishing up this piece, getting it nice and folded, and there we go. I got them all done. They look really great. My long sleeves and my bag of clothing to give away. And now I'm just going to fill my drawers back up here very easily. Looking good. Color coordinated, all my whites and light colors. And then the different odd colors that I don't have that many of. And I have some extra room for a couple of new pieces of clothing. All right, guys, I'm going to try on those two new shirts and I'm going to show you exactly uh, how they fit and if I like them or not. Uh, these are from Amazon, so they're long sleeve and they're V-neck and I'll take the first one out of the package. First of all, the quality is really good. These feel nice and um, heavy material. Okay, so it's V-neck and it's nice it, it's nice and long it's not like a, a short too short of a waist so let me try this on and i'll show you exactly how it fits all right guys i absolutely think that this sweater is really nice it fits excellent it's um you know long if you want to wear it you know down like that i just tucked in just a little bit here in the front just to give it a little bit of you know a modern style but it is comfortable it is um, the material is really really nice it's got a nice v-neck that isn't too deep um, yeah yeah worth the money this was uh, originally marked 49 dollars but it was on sale or it is currently on sale for 35.99 well worth the price i'll try the tan one on just so you can see that color and i love this sort of wine color um i think that's a good color for the winter time um it's very comfortable this you could wear like a shirt over it if you wanted to. You could wear, you know, a collared shirt that was just over it if it was chilly. You could wear something underneath if you wanted to. You could, um, you could really kind of work whatever way you want, but it's really nice just by itself. Yeah, love this. This was a good reward for me for my efforts to do my drawers. <laughs> I'll try on the tan one next. So here's the beige. Loving the beige. Um, tan. It's, it's really more beige than tan. It's more on the creamy, almost off-white, but it's darker than an off-white. Same thing, same fit. Um, this one you can kind of, I would wear like a beige uh, nude bra underneath probably because you can kind of see I have a I have a uh, cheetah bra on and uh, you can pull it down a little so you can show a cami or something um, but I wouldn't I would probably wear um, something because you it's not see-through by any means but you can kind of see the pattern there from my cheetah 
print. Um, but yeah, love it. Love the buttons on the side here, on the, on the V-neck. Just really pretty. The buttons are like, um, they look wood, but they're plastic. But that's perfectly fine. Beautiful. I'm, I'm psyched about these. This was a great addition to my winter wardrobe. And uh, yeah, so great reward. Remember to reward yourself when you do a project like this. If it's not clothing, you know, take yourself out for a specialty coffee or some kind of treat that you enjoy. And uh, that way you have something to look forward to at the end of the project. Okay guys, so I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I'm going to insert a picture of my closet because I also revamped that at the start of the new year. I'm going to link a video right here of my closet makeover that I did last year and I actually made some changes to it which I think make it even more um, user friendly. My clothes that are longer can hang freely and I can see that beautiful picture that I picked up last year at Hobby Lobby as soon as I opened the door to my closet. So to me, it's a lot better than it was. And that's the thing about organization. Don't think that you can't change it up year after year or even month after month when you think of something that might work better. So anyway guys, I'm gonna insert that video from Marie Kondo which shows how to fold. She also shows how to fold pants and shorts and undies. And speaking of undies, if you need to organize your underwear drawer, I found these great little um, organizers on Amazon. They're only $22 for this whole set of six. I haven't purchased them yet, but I'm thinking that I probably will to organize my underwear drawer. So that being said, I hope that you are enjoying your January. I hope you're getting out to enjoy some of the colder weather. Go out and check out my latest blog post, which is 10 things to do in January. And I go into a lot more detail about how you can start the year off right. I will link that blog post below in the description section. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for hanging out. I hope that you will go over to the Facebook page and like the Facebook page so that you can add pictures of your own um, to share with us. I would love to see pictures of your makeovers and your organization redos. Thanks for hanging out for this little bit of time with me. I have many more videos planned for you this month. I'm gonna be sharing my winter home decor, some recipes, and that bedroom makeover that's coming at the end of the month. That is a project, but I can't wait to see how it comes out and I can't wait to show you how it comes out. So thanks again, so, everybody. Take care. Bye for now.